Hey, what's up, everyone? Greg Kong here, and uh, Merry Christmas. Almost there in Vancouver, December 24th, Christmas Eve. I wanted to do one last stream to talk about an exciting technology, AI, and uh, we're actually going to play around with it. A first look at ChatGBT, you may have seen it. We're also going to look at Dolly. It's made by the same company, OpenAI. So um, yeah, I've signed up to both accounts. And uh, I think it's exciting to look at the newer technologies that could ultimately help humanity. Um, as you know, I've uh, returned to a nine to five job and uh, I've had some experience looking at Microsoft's automation tool, Power Automate. And uh, I'm just seeing automation on many fronts becoming more popular. And uh, I think it's, it's a matter of time before we see automation AI become um, just a more normal part of our lives. So it's always good to get a preview before you're left behind. So be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, the way you can help out the channel is share with your friends if you're enjoying the content. All right, so this is a sample of AI generated art. The actual original is from, you can see the original here, from We Work in Paris. Well, it said that was the original. That's actually not the original. I think I, uh, I lost it here because I chose variations. Uh, here's here's the original so you can do an upload or you can get it to create something brand new which I haven't tried so this is the original original and you just upload it it creates these variations here so they're from different angles it looks like it's created different backgrounds and then I, I click the variation button and then that's where it came up with with this can see different um, leg postures, crossing the legs, and furniture. Another one, shall we? And then we'll take a look at Chat GBT. Okay, so let's type in um, spaceship. Let's see what we come up with here. So it's really quick to sign up and it's free and you get a certain number of credits that you can use with your free account. So here's the spaceship. Okay. Honestly, I think it's more fun to upload your, uh, your own. So let's try. And some Asian men. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, a photo of me. Okay. Interesting. And some man. Let's see what it comes up with. Is this, is this all inclusive? Okay, some diversity there. Let's see, pretty woman. Hopefully I don't run out of credits doing all these, these tests here. Okay, interesting. I don't exactly agree with this. I gotta let's try another upload. I'm gonna Upload something like a drone photo. Um, yeah, let's do this drone photo here. This is in Mexico. Generate variations. 
All right, so you can see here you've got a um, saved memory cache of the of the images it created, so you can recall them quickly. All right, let's see what it's done here. Okay, so let's smooth it out. All right, interesting. Here's the angles. See some variations of this. Let's see how wacky we can get. And then I'm gonna try one of my profile photos. See what it does with that. And then we'll go to ChatGBT. Oh interesting. Let's put a put like a canyon there. Thing mountains. Or totally demolished the town. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna upload a profile photo. Let's see what we get here. Let's see if it can make me uh, more handsome. Okay, I got this one here in Bangkok. Let me share the screen. Generate variation. Okay. There's also an app called Lenza I've been playing around with on my phone uh, to create AI art. Okay, let's check this out. No, it's mangled my face. Interesting, it's changed the outfits. Um, let's see some variations here. Oof, it's getting hot. <sighs> Drinking tea. Shout out to Peter for getting the shirts made. All right, let's see what it's changed here. So you can see here the background of the buildings has changed. We've changed the outfit. Guy's a bit more chubby. Need some work. Okay, let's head over to Chat GBT. There's an article by a business insider that caught my attention. And um, let's see if I can just show you the article with out ads hopefully because I do have a membership there we go ad free well actually no Google Google still displaying ads which is funny because this article is related to to just that so this is the CEO of Google Sundar Pichai so Google's issued a code red over the rise of AI bot chat GBT and um, He's redirected some teams to focus on building out AI products, and there's talks around whether ChatGBT could one day replace Google's search engine. So I invite you to read this article. I've heard about ChatGBT from a couple of my friends, uh, more tech-oriented. But let's just say Google's ad revenue generated $208 billion. Okay, and ChatGBT has over 1 million users over 5 days after its public launch. Let's just actually take a look at ChatGBT. Here it is, you can try for free. I just used my Gmail account. It's free for now. Um, yeah, so we can create a new chat. Why is Christmas so important?
All right. It's got a lot to say about this. People without... Um, Okay, reach out to others, I'll volunteer. Okay. Interesting. I asked it some cryptocurrency questions. What is your prediction for Ethereum? That's no fun. Um, when will the war on Ukraine end? Hmm. Weird. Doesn't know about that. What is the future of digital nomads? You trends that may shape the future of digital nomadism. Increased demand for remote work, development of new technologies, changes in global economic conditions. Okay. When will Vancouver real estate prices become actually affordable for locals. Increase supply, changes in demand, government intervention. All right, so I think that's a good first preview. I think uh, let's just wrap this up. Um, talk a little bit about cryptocurrency. There, there's a lot of new news on that front, and uh, my may as well cover it in one one fell swoop. Okay. Finance failing to get U.S. exchange listing for BNB is a yellow flag for crypto analysts. Okay. I also read an article Binance was attempting to uh, acquire Voyager, the crypto lender. Binance U.S. that is. And Binance U.S. is actually based, they have a, a, a footprint, a large team in Vancouver actually work from that cohort space so that'll be interesting to see it, how it impacts that team Sam Bankman Freed is out of jail from what I read he he's been flown to his parents place in the US and now there's other people coming out of the woodwork uh, possibly even Gary Genzer from the SEC maybe questions uh his two close partners uh i believe it's gary wong and his ex-girlfriend carol elson are actually they're actually going to be charged as well and it's hard to keep up with this news because there's something new happening every day and you know it's just uh it's, it's becoming a drama that's unfolding and it's getting a lot of mainstream coverage here so this is probably the top story that's that's happening let's look at the price the prices bitcoin is is at 16,800 ethereum at 1200 bnb at 244 and if we look scrolling through the fat the top 20 very quickly no major movements. Let's just scroll down. It's been a while since I've covered past movements here. Yeah, nothing 
much is really happening. FTX is dominating the story and um, I've been asked a lot like when, when is crypto going to recover and um, you know it's hard to predict just like ChatGBT says it's hard to predict when it's going to reco recover but I think there's a couple of things that are going to happen in the next two, two, two years or so. Uh, increased regulation from the U.S. government, uh, which is going to set the tone for other countries. We may see a lot of old coins disappear or go to zero. Bitcoin should be okay. Ethereum should be okay. And um, NFTs, blockchain, uh, Web3, those are exciting technologies. Outside, aside from the price price action all these scandals the technology i believe will stay and um, after regulation you may get smart money coming back in into more solid projects which will impact the price of some crypto tokens perhaps ethereum very positively uh, bitcoin could be become more popular as um, for developing countries especially for movement of, of money that rely on the U.S. dollar. Uh, we have to keep an eye on what the U.S. government does with uh, lending rates. It's impacting everyone uh, from tech companies uh, to real estate in the U.S. and Canada and worldwide. Although I'll tell you, when I went to Asia, I was happily surprised that inflation hasn't impacted the pricing too much. So, so yeah, I think... Uh, these are macro factors, things that are out of our, out of our control that, that need some time to play out. So yeah, it could be a while before Bitcoin does go back to the bull run all time high, which was I believe close to 70K, something like that. So it's a good time to learn if you wanna try practice uh, coding with Solidity, uh, uh, Bindu, some blockchain events at UBC, our local university here. And um, yeah, Solidity seems to be the programming language of the future. And the best way to learn is just to, to practice on the Ethereum blockchain. And the transactions are fairly no, low now. I'm just checking the price of Ethereum gas. It's 10 Gui, which is, is pretty cheap. And the theorem is most likely going to be the blockchain that's, that sticks around. So all-time high for Bitcoin it, it is 69,000, which was November 2021, and that was that was an exciting time. I was there in Mexico, and you know, there's just uh, a lot of excitement. But you know, probably for the wrong reasons. Now, now that this FTX thing is unraveling, you know, there was a chain chain or domino effect and um, you know a lot of people have lost money so that's unfortunate. Ethereum's all-time high was also last year uh, 4,878 US and um, yeah now we're at 1221 so like I mentioned these are good prices to dollar cost averaging so I hope you enjoyed this this last stream for the year uh, thanks for supporting the channel um, yeah, hopefully you have an opportunity to spend time with family or loved ones. And uh, if you don't, uh, like ChatGBT said, reach out, try to volunteer. There's uh, meetups. You're not alone. Um, yeah. Peace. See you later. Bye.